Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions, and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake ingestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. So what I'm going to do here is, I mean, this is an Amazon um, uh, S3 browser. So I have created a bucket. So I'll delete this bucket and try to, you know, load these two files. And um, so I have my uh, PRM files here, and um, this is my S3 PRM. So the S3 PRM is basically a simple uh, target, basically trying to map QA source to target QA source, and uh, I'm going to here is my Golden Gate instance. So what I have is I have a manager running. Oh, sorry, I'll start my manager. So I'm starting my manager. And now I'll create my replicate. And the files, the data is actually going to be coming from a trail file that has already been created from the adapter examples. So I'll create my replicate and I'll and I'll start my S3. So before I start my S3, so I just want to show you my um, S3 configuration. So I think I showed you quickly earlier. So basically what we are trying to do is we are using a flight file writer and then uh, the flight file writer in the operation mode and then um, I, I write this file uh, data files first into a directory out. So the directory out uh, is this directory, okay? And then once it is done, I'll move this into the cloud with a with a specific uh, you know name, and then I'll delete this file. So let me start my S3 now. So um, I'm going to start my S3. So you can see that um, you know my replicate is actually starting, and meanwhile we'll see whether. Uh, the files get created. Okay, so you can see that the files got created here, um, you know, right now at this point of time, and it's it's writing into these two files. And uh, I think it'll wait for that one minute before the file rollover happens. And meanwhile, I'll refresh my bucket list here. You can see that, you know, the other two buckets are there and Wengel bucket list is not there. And just, uh, so let's see how this is there. Let's see how many records do I have. I have like um, uh, 10 operations, five inserts, three updates, and two deletes. And let's see um, what happens here. Okay, the file is still being created here. And here nothing has happened. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so, so you can see that, okay, the files disappeared basically from it because my operation was, you know, deleted. And let now see the, whether it is there in the, you can see that, you know, Engels bucket is created here. And uh, I've asked it to write into a directory called this path as OGG slash, and it, this is actually created inside OGG slash, these two files right now at um, this particular point of time. 
Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become available.